This is Dragon. Her story is not dissimilar to many other horses on the island, which is sad, but it's true. However, here is how she jumped the queue and how she became a sudden emergency rescue with us. Until three months ago, Dragon was not known as Dragon. More on this later. But she was actually used as a riding horse until she had an accident, which is not really known to us, the details. With this accident, she said goodbye to her riding career, her family, and her name. She was not only unwanted, but she became so worthless that she was left totally alone in a small space with no food, no water. But fortunately for Dragon, a kind old man who lived near her, he saw her desperation and starvation and he came past every single day, feeding her scraps from his own food and from his garden, giving her water. Obviously, this is not ideal food, but his act of kindness kept her alive until finally the authorities could get involved. We have this comment quite regularly on our videos. I hope the owner was reported. More often than not, that will do nothing. The law is so complicated and not strongly in the favour of animals. So most of the time, people have to wait while the animal suffers. This is exactly what happened here. When the time came that she could finally be taken away, she was actually without food or anything to eat for three whole days. This is how she arrived with us, starving, angry and confused. And this is how she arrived with the name Dragon. So when she arrived with us, she had incredibly overgrown feet and she was in desperate need to get her shoes off. We don't know how long, honestly, they had been on for, but it was definitely time to remove them. But with learned behaviour and fear, she had a lot of difficulties bending her leg. So we called in our trusty farrier. He's always very patient and works very well with them. And he's just helping to remove the shoes. She was very polite and she works very well with humans. Although we called her Dragon, this is just because she's nasty to the other animals. But she's really lovely with humans and I think she knew we were trying to help her. With a lot of patience, a lot of volunteers, we did manage to get the shoes off. Just to discover some incredibly bad rotten feet underneath. However, they're nice and strong, so with a good rehab, walking along the roads, correct diet and management, she should be feeling very good soon. This is the last foot. We had to do it in a different way because any bending, she seems to be able to do it, but she's very nervous and I think it results in a lot of bad memory from pain. So we need to start working with her to make this easier. And now here she is, free from shoes. As you can tell, she seems to feel pretty good. And now it's time to start her rehab. Get her out walking a bit, try and stimulate some hoof growth and stimulate a happy and positive mind. As you can see, she's super relaxed. She's happy to go out with me at sea, go out and see the scenery. And don't forget, this is her first time walking barefoot and she doesn't even notice. So hopefully it's the start of the road to recovery, but so far it's going very well. And now it's time to introduce her to the other horses. We started with her inside the stable just so she could adapt and get used to the new place and the horses around her. And of course, cause she's a bit of a dragon, but now she's meeting the others for the first time. She's already met them over the bar and around the edges and we try to do it slowly, but she's very sassy. But we've since found out that it's all just threats. She's actually very calm and she's just a bit of a drama queen. All of the boys love her. She's not so sure about the boys. But after only about 10, 15 minutes, things seem to settle down. We don't know if she was ever with horses before. As far as we know, she was just kept in a paddock all on her own. But she's definitely got something. All of the boys are obsessed. Um, okay, so Dragon has an old injury in her left front uh, knee or leg and she is still having trouble lifting her, her leg when we try to pick out her hooves. Um, so we use positive reinforcement training to 
get her to have her uh, have a positive association with lifting her feet um, and that she's more comfortable doing it so that's why we use the, the training uh, in a positive way so now we're trying to uh, reward her every time she lifts her foot up a little bit um, and we try to extend the time that she uh, has her hoof up in the air so at first we click for only a little movement um, and then when she uh, lifts a little bit more and uh, eventually uh, she will be fine with lifting her feet up and holding it there for a while so we can pick out her hoof and that she's fine doing that. So in the end we actually had to move her back up to the top paddock, not for her fault, she was very good but the problem is all of the boys fancy her and Capri was getting a bit impossible to handle and he was getting too stressed because he was so obsessed with her and she did not return the love and he was getting a bit of a toxic relationship down there wasn't it lad? So we had to move her back up here but she's settled in really well, she's ma making um, a relationship I think with Geronimo so they're going on, going on much better up here. She settled in really well, although we called her Dragon because, you know, this face when a dog comes past. She's actually surprised us and she's gone on much better with all the horses than we expected. And she's doing really well. So, if you want to keep updated and join us <laughs> behind, behind the scenes, you can sponsor on our website, which is we can put below, but Tenerife Horse Rescue slash Dragon. And you can sponsor her monthly and then you'll find out all of the updates behind the scenes, vet visits, keep you updated on the rehab of her knees and her feet and as she gains weight and we couldn't do it with people with, um, without people like you so if you want to find out more you can sponsor her and on that thank you so much for watching this video all about dragon even just if you if you can't sponsor her just keep watching our videos because every time you watch a video it's helping with our algorithms which is monetizing the videos which indirectly is going to pay for rescuing her and other horses like her so thank you, ring that bell, give us a thumbs up, comment, and we'll see you next week.